starts in with a question about location releases and permissions. Hi, I'm Gordon Firemark, and this is Ask and Answered, where I answer your entertainment law questions so you can take your career in business and show business to the next level. Hi, I'm Sarah Werner. I am the host, writer, editor, producer, pretty much everything here at the Right Now podcast. The Right Now podcast is a podcast for aspiring writers, and it gives you the time, energy, and courage you need to pursue your passion and to write every day. Good morning, Christina. My name is Matt Castor, and I found you up here on your Google Plus page. So what I did from there is I went over, and I found your RSS feed, and I came up and I downloaded this particular file right here. Now, at that point, I went ahead and put it into Reaper. This is the doll that I use, and there are some things I'd like to show you. And with Reaper, I went up and I opened up this extension, which is called the loudness, which is this right here. And I analyzed your track. Now, for podcasting, we want this number right here, since it is a stereo, to be around a negative 16 LUFs. And that stands for loudness units full scale. Now, the range, we want to be uh, no more than a four. And the true peak, we want to be somewhere around a negative one. Okay. Now, what this means is up here, these are your peaks. And I used another program just to run it through. And right now, you've got about 39,000 of them in here. Okay. So if we just come over here and zoom in on one, and you'll see that every time it comes up into this, that that is a peak, even though that's not a very long piece of audio it has spiked several times and it's what they refer to as clipping okay so from this point right here i'm going to go ahead and pause the video i'm going to do a few more things and it's not that i don't want to show you what i'm doing it's just that it makes for a very boring video to watch it go through the process okay so i will be right back Okay, so what we've done now is we can actually come to this track, and if we right mouse click it, we can come up to normalize, and we put it at a negative 15 dBs. And with Reaper, this is actually going to put us right around about a negative 17 and a half to a negative 18. And I do want to clarify that with the AES standards, uh, they recommend between a negative 16 and a negative 20 lofts. Now you see right here now, the true peak has jumped up to a 12.6 dB total peak. So from this point, we're going to come up and we're going to render this file. And we're going to do it at the master mix. And we're simply just going to name it one. We're going to do it in a stereo MP3. at 128 bits, and that's what you have. Uh, and I checked that out to make sure that's what you're recording to. And then we're gonna add this right back into this track. So we're gonna go ahead and render this one file. And you'll see it over here in the red where it automatically just jumps up. Okay, but don't worry about that. We're, we're not worried about that at all because we're going to fix that once we get finished. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again. Here again, it just makes for a boring video, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now at this point, you can see just the same numbers right here that correspond down here. 
So we're going to go ahead and close this out. And as we do, it's going to drop it right here on this track. Now, at this time, we don't need this anymore. And we'll just let it do its thing. And we're going to turn off the FX controls over here. And give it just a second. And there it is. Now, this is the second track. Which is the exact same as the original, but we've just raised all the volume level. Okay. So if you notice. Let me go ahead and get a comparison here. You can see the difference in these volume levels. Okay. And the reason for this is you have to remember that the lower the number, or I'm sorry, the higher the number, the lower the volume. So when you had it at a negative 24 dBs, that is a lot lower than what it should be. And what happens is people have to raise their volume in order to hear it. And when they do all this, you have a lot of background noise in here. And I'm going to show you how we're going to take care of that as well. Okay. So at this point, we do not need this track anymore. So we're going to go ahead and remove it. And now this is the one we'll be working with. Now, also, since you have this in stereo, I'm going to go ahead and just take one of these tracks and I'm going to turn it into a mono. It just makes it easier to work on. And we're going to take the mono left and there's our single track. Okay. So I'm going to, at this point, I'm going to zoom back in on it. And all of these little areas and these peaks and these dips. Okay, this is where you have an extreme volume change. And if you remember when I showed you before the LRA, that's your loudness range. You had a 11 dB difference in there, and we're going to go ahead and take care of that as well. So I'm going to play around a little bit. And then I will be right back. Okay, so what I've done now is I've simply come in and I put some markers up. And that will allow me to come through and start doing what I want to do as far as what I found. And we've got some breathing noises. We've got some low volumes. I can see where your podcast, or a podcast actually starts. And we have some clicks. And breathing and background noises. And that's what we're going to deal with. Okay. Because right here, if we listen to this, unless that's what we're going to do, let's just listen. I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. And that way you understand exactly what I'm talking about. So we're just simply going to come up and actually trap. And here we're going to come up and we're just going to grab a, uh, a meter. And we want to watch what this meter shows us. Instead of relying on this meter right here, this will just give us a little more detailed. And that's what we're looking for down here. And let's go ahead and listen to that. Now, if you look down here, you'll see this number is running around a negative 20 six okay and that's pretty loud because that runs all the way through your audio file okay so let's zoom back in let's go over and find us another point now this is the breathing and background noise combined so the same thing we're just simply going to drag here with reaper We've got our blue button engaged up here, and that's what this does. This actually traps it inside this area. And let's listen to that now. Now, as you can see, that number was running around a negative 22, so it's getting louder. Okay. So let's go here. We have a click. And that's what that is right there. That's a click. So let's go ahead and listen to that. And I want to make sure that I'm just not trapping my own noise here. So let's open this up just a little bit. That's what that sounds like. Okay. 
as you can see, it's a negative 13. And that's why you hear clicks so pronounced in audio files. So let's go ahead and zoom back out again. Let's see if I have any more up here, because then I'm going to, uh, this is where your uh, intro or your outro actually starts here. And every one of these little places you see like this, this is background noise. And like I said, now that runs through this entire file and that's what we want to try and get out. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and come over to my FX and I'm going to take everything off of it except for that peak limiter. We want that to stay on. Because now we want to put our negative one dB on this file and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to render it and Regardless of what people tell you, and we want to put this back, we want to keep it in a mono, you have to play with this. You, you truly do. There is no one size fits all. You have to go through. So let's go ahead and do this. And let's see if it'll let us do it, and it will not let us do it. So we're going to just simply rename this to. And then we're going to render the one file. And we're going to cancel this. And I apologize because I forgot to turn my FX on. So let's go ahead and render it again over right. And there we go. That's what I want to see. Now, as a default, it starts around a negative 12. And I can see right here, it's already going higher than I want it to. So I'm simply going to hit cancel. And now I'm going to move this to around a negative 16 and, and just see what that gives me to start with. Now you can see right off the bat that I'm starting at a 1.2 on my total peaks and we don't want that as well. So I'm going to take this up to a around a 19. And like I said, these are no set numbers. I'm just doing this to see where it starts me at. Okay, so right here, I know that I'm not even going above zero dBs, and that's good. I'm getting close to where I want to be. Okay, but what I'm going to do now that I know I'm getting close is now I'm going to take this up to around 21. Like I said, now I just know that I'm getting close. Because we still got a little bit of work that we want to do. Remember now, we haven't done anything with the mixing and mastering. All we're trying to do right now is adjust the volume level. That's it. We haven't done anything as far as the noise floor, the background noises, the pops, the clicks, or anything of that nature. And once this goes through, I will come right back. Okay, now that it's finished that process, you can see right here, let me get my meter back out. We came in at a positive 11.2 over 0 dBs, and we got it down to a positive 3.1, and that's fine. What you're looking at are these peaks right here. So that's the next thing that I'm going to work on. Okay, so we're going to hit close, and this is going to add it back to this track right here. And when it does, I will be right back. Okay, so at this point now, these are the exact same identical tracks. But with this one, we just put a negative 1 dB peak limiter on it. And we got it down to where we want it. You see, at the very top of these lines, when you hit them, that's where it clips. Okay? So here again, at this time, we do not need this track, and we're going to go ahead and remove it. And that will allow us to work on the one track right here. Now, with Reaper, and we're going to go ahead and zoom in. I'm going to show you a couple of times here. I'm simply going to come in. I want to grab it right here, and I'm going to hit the S key, and I'm going to split this track. And then I'm going to come right here, 
I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more because I want to get real close to it. I'm going to split it again. Now, when I zoom in and out, it's the actual arrow keys on my keyboard. So I'm hitting the down arrow now, which is going to bring me right in. And as long as I stay right here, that cursor will never move. You see, it'll bring me right where I'm at. So at this point now, as you can see, this is now an independent track. So what I'm going to do is just come up here and I'm going to reduce this volume to kind of keep it level with everything else. And I can do the same thing over here. But now, as you can see with here and here, this is a much lower level. So we're going to come here. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. I'm going to split the track here. And I'm going to split the track let's say right here. Okay, now I'm simply gonna drop this straight down and that's gonna open me up another track here. And there's a reason that I want to do this because I'm going to go through now and I'm going to find all these low spots with the low volume and I'm going to bring these peaks down and believe it or not, when I'm not talking into this microphone, this will only take me about 10 minutes. So when I get finished, I will be right back. Okay, so at this time, I went ahead and separated your podcast into three different tracks. We have the actual podcast, which is track one. And then we have your intro and your outro on track two. And then you did that little intro clip that was uh, with your friend. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to come back up and we're going to grab our loudness. We're going to select all three tracks. And now we're going to analyze these tracks. We have all our FX controls off. And what this will do, this will give me the volume level of all three tracks. Now, at that time, what I want to do is I'm going to render them the same way. And I want them all to be between a negative 16 and a negative 20 lofts. And when it does this, I will be right back. Okay, so at this point, you can see we have a negative 18 to a negative 21. And our true peak is running from a negative 6 to a negative 4. So we're going to go ahead and once again... We're going to take this 18 and just get it close to this 21. So I'm going to go ahead and select all three. And we're going to normalize them to a negative 15. Now with Reaper, what you need to do is you need to add 3 dBs to this. Okay, it's just the way it is with your system. It's the way that I have it set up. So even though it says a negative 15, when it gets finished, it's going to be a negative 18. And that's going to put us in the center range between our negative 16 and negative 20. Because we still need some headroom. Keep in mind now, the only thing that we're doing is we're still adjusting the volume on these tracks. Okay, so we've got our true peak set and we're just getting it closer. And you need to keep in mind that it's the all the little steps it's nothing major it's the little steps that'll get you to where you want to go okay now we have it separated into three different tracks because your intro and your outro that doesn't need any fx control on it but we do want to do some cleaning in the podcast and in the intro clip and this is where we're going to do our eq and actually do our our mastering okay so let's go ahead and start the normalization process. And when it gets finished, I will be right back. Okay, now we are back. And what I've done is I've went ahead and set up some FX controls. And we're going to go through them here and I'm going to show you uh, where we have here the lip noise. And just so you know, everybody does it, okay? That's why we use software to get it out. So with that being said, let's go ahead and play by this. And what I'm going to do is play it a couple times with the FX off. And let's listen to it. Aslowski. Lori is a brilliant.
Okay, you can hear where the lips smack together, where you take a breath. And you can also hear the static in the background, which is referred to as your background noise. Aslowski. Lori is a brilliant. All right, now let's go ahead and turn the FX on. Aslowski. Lori is a brilliant writer, editor. And let's listen to that again. Aslowski. Lori is a brilliant writer. Now, what I'm using, and I don't expect you, unless you uh, do this or, or you enjoy doing this, but these are the FXs that I'm using. Okay, I'm going to use a peak limiter. I'm not going to use the compressor. We don't need that. You've got, uh, with your background noise, we definitely do not want to bring those lower level ups, uh, upper ranges, and and you just don't want to do that because you'll be fighting the battle back and forth. Now, this does not come with Reaper, but this is a plugin that I use all the time. It's a noise suppressor. And we're going to be using the EQ, and we're also going to be using a gate. Now, this also does not come with Reaper. I have uh, several plugins that I use, uh, that I do use with Reaper. But on these two right here, this is where I take the noise suppression and the background noise out. So we can actually watch this in real time. So let's go ahead and watch these meters. I'm very excited to introduce our next podcast guest, Lori Kozlowski. Okay, now when you see this meter drop all the way down, as soon as you quit speaking, this is taking and it's dropping down that dB level all the way as far as it can get it. And that's why you don't hear the background noise now. So we're going to go ahead and listen to it again with the FX off. Flasky. Lori is a brilliant. And you can hear that. Flasky. Lori is a. And now we have it on. Flasky. Lori is a brilliant writer, editor. Okay, now the other thing I want to show you is what I've done with the EQ. And we don't need these anymore. They're going to stay just like they are. And let's watch the range here on your EQ. I have a stock uh, intimate female vocal, and this does come with the Reaper. So let's watch it. Flasky. Lori is a brilliant writer, editor, and producer. That is a continual seeker of knowledge, and I am constantly amazed by how she can chime in. Now, I'm going to start moving these around. And what this is, this is a uh, roll-off from... Um, uh, rolling off the low end, and that'll take some of the rumbleness out of the track here again for the background noise. And then we're going to add some more bands, and I'll show you exactly what it's doing because you're going to see this frequency jumping down here, but it's so high you really don't need it. And if you don't need it, we're going to take it out. So let's go ahead and watch. Flasky, Lori is a brilliant writer, editor, and producer. That is a continual seeker of knowledge, and I am constantly amazed by how she can chime into any conversation and bring a relevant point. Her and I worked closely when we were building out the visual identity for an editorial platform called Smash.co, where she was editor-in-chief. And I feel like you don't meet very many people that can dive so deeply into analyzing and being logical, and then can tap right out of that headspace and be playful and creative. And she truly amazes me in so many ways, and is a beautiful character full of ideas. And now, not surprisingly, she has challenged herself in a completely new way, going from writer-editor to now producer at a VR documentary film company called Day of Empathy. I couldn't even wrap my brain around what that meant for a minute. What is VR 360 documentary film like? Although she can't reveal too much since they are in the... Okay, and that's it. And uh, when I say that's it, you, you have to remember what I said before. You've got to play with your plugins, okay? Way, you know, if, if it sounds good to me, it may not sound good to you or to somebody else. But the main purpose of this was just to show you about the background noise. And believe it or not, this entire time, I've probably had maybe 25 minutes at the most. Uh, the rest of the time is just allowing the computer to do its thing after I would get it set where I wanted it and then render it into another track. Now, at this point, I'm going to take this track, uh, the three tracks that we have here, and this time when I render it down, I'm going to render it on a master track. And that's going to put all three of these together 
on one track, and we're going to name that master. And when I get that done, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are, and uh, we're going to look at some things with the meters here. This right here is a uh, audio statistic. This does come with a Reaper, as well as the VU meter. And we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. These are the two tracks. This is the one that's been mastered now. And this is your original track here on track number two. Okay, so let's just go ahead and we're going to solo the master track. And we will listen to it. And then we'll see what it does on the meters. Now, you should never use the meter as far as your final say-so, but it does give you a very good starting point. Okay? As are in Nevada... There is an old Western town, a recreated Western pioneer town, where you can go there and pretend to be a cowboy and see a shootout. And um, you see women walking around with the bustles and cowboys. And um, you can go there as a kid. Okay. And if you notice, if you look over here at the meters now, they're all running dead on even. Okay. And let's watch that again, uh, where the meters show up in here. Again, this is on the master track. And notice where this is all green right here. And notice this number right here. It's a negative 1.3. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear that. And like I said, just keep an eye on the meter over here. As are in Nevada, there is an old Western town, a recreated Western pioneer town, where you can go there and pretend to be a cowboy. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's play the original now. And uh, if you had headphones on, and that's what I master with, I always use headphones. And when I play it back, I actually have a uh, Bose soundbar. And it's, uh, it's a very, very detailed uh, speaker system. So let's go ahead and listen to this now. And uh, watch your meter over here when we do uh, the original. You'll see that the left-hand track is lower than the right-hand track. As are in Nevada, there is... I apologize. It's higher than the right-hand track. As are in Nevada... There is an old Western town, a recreated Western pioneer town. Now look at your meter over here on the left under the statistics. You see where this isn't coming over? You see where this right here is in the center? Let's watch again. As are in Nevada, there is an old Western town, a recreated Western pioneer town, where you can go there and pretend to be a cowboy and see a shootout. And um, you see women walking around with the bustles and cowboys and... Wow. Notice right here where your meter is just barely, barely moving right here. Okay, so let's watch here again and then watch the meter. And we're going to go back uh, to the master track. And then I'm going to finish it up. I've got uh, two photos I want to show you. Uh, number one, they're, it's called an Orban meter. And it gives you all the specs. Uh, it's free. I uh, highly suggest you download it. Before you can do anything with audio, you have to know what your input levels are. You have to know. If not, it's like driving in the dark. You can only go so far, but sooner or later, you're going to crash and burn. Okay, so let's keep an eye here, and let's keep an eye on the meter here. As are in Nevada, there is an old Western town, a recreated Western pioneer town, where you can go there and pretend to be a cowboy and see a shootout, and um, you see... Okay, and that's it. And I'm going to go ahead and stop this, and I'm going to go ahead and do the pictures, and then we're going to put all these together. And I will. Chocolate fudge and red balloons. Argyle socks and the blue suede shoes A stroll in Central Park with you Bare feet on sands in Malibu Drinks at two in